Alright. Um, for our fifth module, we'll be discussing about creating simple model in Simulink. So basically, these are the tasks. So we have two main tasks um, relative to our discussion this afternoon, one of which is creating a simple model, a simple dynamic system model using MATLAB Simulink. So these are the examples. For example, number one, we're going to simulate a model that integrates a sine wave signal to a cosine signal and then displays the result along with the original signal in a scope window. So to create this simple model, we need four Simulink blocks. So blocks are the model elements that are being defined or defining the mathematics of a system and providing the input signals. So these are the blocks that we needed to use, one of which is the sine wave that would generate an input signal for the model, an integrator that will do the processing of the input signal, bus creator that can combine multiple signals into one signal, and finally the scope block that visualize and compare the input signal with the output signal. So in simulating the model that integrates a sine wave signal to a cosine signal, then displaying the result along with the original signal in a scope window, I have provided a separate video discussion on that one. But basically, this will be the target output. So we'll be um, watching another video related to this one that I created using MATLAB Simulink. So in this example, you can see here the figure illustrating the integration of the sine wave signal to cosine wave signal using MATLAB Simulink. So the blocks that you can see here are the blocks that I have mentioned earlier, like the sine wave, the integrator, the bus, and the scope block. And then when we simulate the Simulink model, so you can plot the results using scope block. So the plot shows a sine wave signal with the resulting cosine wave signal. So obviously, yung nakikita po natin na color blue, this is the sine wave. And then yung nakikita naman po natin na color red line, that is the integrator. So this figure simply shows the simulation of sine to cosine wave signal using the scope block. Of course, you can do the other way around from cosine to sine wave if you would like to further explore the different blocks in MATLAB Simulink. Another main task that you're going to do, so you can actually get um, this example from MATLAB itself. So maya ituro ko sa inyo, meron dong help portion for which you can see there the step-by-step -step process kung paano tayo mag-model ng house heating system using MATLAB Simulink. So it is... Uh, a full-blown dynamic system already. So example number two will simply show us how to model a dynamic system using Simulink software. So the model is a house heating system that includes a heater plant, thermostat controller, and a room environment. So the goals of the model system are the following. So we're going to be observing how the changing outdoor temperature affects the indoor temperature, so using experimentally measured outdoor and indoor temperatures already provided as well in the uh, MATLAB Simulink example, we will compare simulation results with measured values. So these are the tasks that we needed to accomplish in modeling a dynamic system. So at first, um, we're going to be identifying the system components under which um, we have the thermal characteristics of a house, thermal characteristics of a heater, a thermostat that could control the heater, the outer environment, and of course, the indoor environment. So here's the identified components or subsystems. So as you can see here, we have here the room temperature, the heat gain, the heat loss, the airflow, the thermostat, the heater, along with the outside temperature, the on-off control, and the heater temperature. So another consideration in modeling a dynamic system is the system equations. So no need to memorize the equations that you can see on the screen. So we just have to simulate naman this example or these equations as we go along. So basically, these are the equations that we needed to use for temperature control, the rate of heat gain equation, the rate of heat loss equation, and the changing room temperature equation. So the equation variables and constants, so then I find din dito what are the equation variable or coefficients that we're going to do with um, description and the units in terms of measurement ng mga different equations and variables or coefficients that we're going to use. 
um, ito lang ay continuation ng other parameters or variables and constants that we'll be using. So, ito yung first part ng house heating system. The first part is, of course, the model top level structure. So, ito yung main subsystems po natin. So, we have three main subsystems. The thermostat, the heater, and the room. Of course, lahat siya meron input and output. Pero sa loob niyan, meron pa siyang different blocks. So, ito yung um, modeling a heater component. So, we'll be modeling a heater switch similar to what you can see on the screen. So, yung step-by-step -step kung paano mo siya i-connect, andun yun sa Simulink help na isho-show ko din later on. Of course, you have here um, inputs like heater on-off. Then the room temperature and then the output would be the heat gain. And then after building the, the blocks for the heater switch, syempre, we're gonna be defining the model parameters. So what are the values of the parameters that will be needing for the blocks that I have presented? And then for the heater model simulation, so we're gonna simulate the result. So, when the heater on up signal flips from 0 to 1 at 4 hours, thermostat output is 1. The expected output from the gain is 50 minus 25 times 3,600 times 1,005.3. That would be equal to 9.05 times 10 to the 7. So, note that the set step time is to 4, then the stop time is set to 10. So, nakikita natin yan on the x-axis. So, ito po yung tinutukoy dito na set step time to 4, and then the stop time is set to 10. Relative to our y-axis na nasa around to the 7 power. Yung another naman is modeling a thermostat signal, similar to the first subsystem, ganun din. So this time, we have the set room temperature and the current room temperature na i-compare natin yung results, and then i-come up natin yung output na heater on off. And then, here's the simple um, simulation for the thermostat model. So, with constant value of 25 and the sine wave, and then the output is connected to the floating scope. Um, similarly, for the preparation for the simulation time, so we have to specify the signals that we would like to show. Ayan, so, in this case, we have constant 1 and then the sine wave and the thermostat. And then, we can show now the, the results. So initially, the relay is on and the room temperature is below the set temperature. When the room temperature increases above the set temperature, the relay does not initially switch to zero until the room temperature increases by two more degrees. Note that the temperature set point is 25. Yung nakikita natin na color orange. Then the stop time is set to 10. Yung nakikita naman natin doon sa x-axis natin. So another naman is modeling the room component. So we'll be modeling as well the model changing room temperature, the current room temperature, and the heat loss through walls and windows. So as you can see here, we have the heat gain as our input, another input that we're going to be comparing as well with the gain. And the temperature room is the outside temperature. And we also have here another signal for the current room temperature. Again, we'll be defining the values of the room model parameters. And then we'll be um, specifying values for the heat gain and the outside temperature. Then we'll be seeing the results using scope block. So in this example, we simulated in our initial simulation, the room temperature starts at the initial room temperature set in the integrator block. And because the heat gain is zero, the signal decays to the outside temperature 10. When the heater is off, Heat gain is equal to zero and the initial temperature of the room 20 is above and outside the temperature 10. Heat loss should continue until the room temperature is equal to the outside temperature. Then the simulation stop time is set to 20. So as we go along, so this time naman for the second simulation, so again we have the value for the heat gain and the outside temperature and the output for the temperature scope block. Ayan, so when we simulate, this time, we set the constant outside temperature to be 30 above the initial room temperature that is 20. So the room temperature starts at the initially set temperature of 20, but with the heater up, heat gain is equal to zero. The room temperature rises to the outside temperature that we set about 30 degrees. So here's the integrated house heating model. 
I'm um, integrating the heater and the thermostat components. All right. So this time we connect the two subsystems that we built earlier, the thermostat and the heater. And then again, so we simulate the integrated heater and thermostat component. And as you can see here, we have your the left graph showing that the heater gain, while the right graph shows the changing room temperature modeled with a sine wave. From about 0 to 1.5 hours, the heater is turned on. Heat gain is not constant, but changes because heat gain is a function of the difference between the heater air temperature and the room air temperature. From 1.5 to 5.6 hours, the heater is turned off and the heat gain, the top graph, is then zero. And then after that, we integrate the room component. So kinonect na natin sa thermostat subsystem, sa heater subsystem, yung ating room a subsystem. Then again, we do the simulation of the integrated room component. So when the outside temperature is below the set room temperature, the room temperature fluctuates 2 degrees above and below the set temperature. Since the thermostat subsystem includes a 2 degree hysteresis, this simulation result is expected. So note that the sine wave block, in the sine wave block, we set the amplitude to be 5, bias to be 12, frequency to be 2 pi over 24, and the pace is around 180 degrees. So we can also further refine the model parameters. So when the outside temperature is above the set thermostat temperature, the room temperature is about equal to the outside temperature. In this case, heat loss is a loss of heat from the outside environment into the room. So again, we set the sine wave block, different parameters for the amplitude to be pi, bias to be 19, frequency to be 2 pi all over 24, and the pace is around 180 degrees. So as we model with external interface, ito na yung magiging itsura ng ating design. So this time we have also the outside temperature connected with our three subsystems, thermostat, heater, and then the room. Then we can also specify the physical units. In our case, for the temperature, we're using degree Celsius. And then... The last step is to verify the correctness of the model by comparing simulations with real system data. In our case, may provided naman doon na data for us to check our model. Pero you can actually try naman using um, actual values in the room temperature that we have if you would like to try it. So that's it for the discussion about module 5. As for the experiment naman, I already posted this one. So this is the same content that I have explained earlier. So what you're going to do is you just have to do these steps ayan, from start to end. And then take necessary screenshots of the scopes. And then para alam ko na kayo talaga yung gumawa nito, niridu mo talaga siya, you have to change the color of the background and the lines of the lines of the waveforms. Ibahin mo yung color para alam ko na sarili mong screenshots yung nilagay mo dito. So, kapag nagawa mo na siya, ilagay mo lang yung screenshots ng result for the data and results, then provide the necessary conclusion. So, sabi ko kanina, if nahihirapan kang hanapin yung clear steps, punta ka ng MATLAB Simulink, type ka dito sa help, and then yung title natin, model ay dynamic system. Dynamic system. All right. And then, click mo lang tong model na dynamic system. Then, ito yung kailangan mong i-produce. Na in-explain ko kanina dun sa PowerPoint slide. So, ito yung complete tutorial showing how to model a dynamic system using Simulink software. So, sabi ko nga kanina, the model is a house heating system that includes a heater, plant, thermostat controller, and a room environment. So, to review a completed model in the MATLAB command window, so you can enter this one. Pero I suggest you try to redraw all of this stuff from defining a house heating system, ayan, nakalagay dyan. Ito yung some of the things that I've discussed earlier. Um, we'll be modeling a house heating system step by step nakalagay dyan from, the, from modeling the top level structure. How are we going to model the heater component? How to model a heater switch? Ayan, even defining heater model parameters, preparing heater model for simulation. And then modeling thermostat component. Ayan, modeling thermostat signal. 
Modeling room component, model changing room temperature, model room temperature, modeling heat loss through walls and windows, defining room model parameters, preparing room model for simulation, simulate room model and evaluate results, simulate model and evaluate results, integrate house heating system. Ayan. Alright, so yun yung step until the end. Again, ang kailangan mo, pwede mong isama sa screenshot yung mga subsystems na generate mo like this. Yung mga nakikita mo dito na mga blocks. Yan. And then yung mga simulation results. So you have to screenshot this one as well. Siyempre, provide ka na lang ng simple explanation about it. And then, ibahin mo nga yung color para alam ko talaga na hindi mo lang siya basta kinot from this help. Pero ginawa mo siya talaga on your own. Kasi no need for you to submit the Simulink model itself. I just would like to see the screenshots of your model along with the simulation results. Alright, so stop recording.